Fabulous action figures. I'm Paul and I'm checking in with you here. I'm looking at the Hasbro PulseCon review that we just had today at the time of me recording this. And I'm just focusing on the G.I. Joe element of the live stream here because, oh my goodness, the G.I. Joes are crushing it again. I have thoroughly enjoyed this live stream from the Joes and the reveals were excellent and then the in-hand figures were great. There's a lot going on here. So they were pushed for time during the live stream because it was overrunning for a lot of the day. You know, people really wanted to know about Magic the Gathering, he says cynically. But anyway, let's talk about some Joes. So we got some renders. So at the start, there were seven renders up on the screen. And the first, so the first one we got, we knew it was coming. But here's a digital render of Big Boa. Um, I'm not I'm not massively sure about this one. I I quite like I really did like the 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 three point seven five inch original figure um, back in the days. Getting into the, you know this sort of getting into the weird and wonderful side of Jojo. I'm not massively sure about this in the render. The legs look a bit thin. I know he's got big old chunky thighs there, but the legs look a bit thin on it. However, I'm always very cautious that the digital renders never really do it the best justice it can. They always look better in hand. So I'll keep an eye. On that one, and then we'll see where we go with it. Uh, we went next, went to a Joe, went to Airborne. Uh, this is a really, this is a decent figure, a lot of kit there. A bit bland for me. I'm not massively interested in that one, to be honest. That's going to be great for those that have backed the Dragonfly for the Haslab. That's going to be an excellent one. Probably a pass for me. Next, we've gone into one I'm absolutely very excited for. Can't wait for this one. Quick Kick. Real fan of the character in the comics. I love the look of this. And look, a second head, a second G.I. Joe head. And he's got three sets of hands as well. So there's a lot going on in this kit. This should not be a, a, a deluxe one, I don't think. I don't think there's enough going on there for them to push it to the 34 dollar price range or 34 pound price range i'm sure that's going to be on the normal price range but it, but it looks great the body design looks excellent i'm really really excited for that one so that's an easy get for me it's super keen on that and another super keen one as well another army builder one you're going to need multiples of and let's hope they sort out this uh buying and not limiting to customers or if they're going to limit it to customers at least let them get enough and make sure that they produce enough for people to get them so you've got the techno viper looks great excellent color scheme good accessories with it so this looks a fine figure for me so when these go up for order i'm all in on the techno vipers and then hit keep on coming. Again, one I can probably pass on. This will be a deluxe. A massive amount of kit here with metal head. And I mean, to be honest, I might end up buying that just for the accessories to use those on other on other characters. Um, not a big fan of the character. Not particularly fussed about this one. Um, we'll probably wait and see what that looks like in hand when you've actually got a proper proper figure rather than a, a digital render, to be honest. Probably a pass. Now, this is a definite one as well. This was teased at San Diego Comic Con. We saw some pictures of it already. Mutt and Junkyard looking fine, looking really, really good. Loads of accessories. Two faces for the dog. And look at the number of hands, because obviously with Mutt there, you've got a number of hands because he obviously does uh, instructions for Junkyard when they're, when they're in battle. So there's a lot going on there. The weapons look a little bit flimsy. That's only the worry with the thinner weapons, particularly what they've been producing lately but this looks super cool so absolutely all in on this one because who doesn't want another articulated animal definitely they've been doing so well at these hands bro so i'm really really excited to get that one so that's a definite play for me with mutton junkyard and another one that will be a play so looked at some retro card versions here this retro card scarlet looks excellent i'm hoping that's going to be on a new female buck there loads of kit a second ponytail sort of action flowing ponytail as well extra hands with this one and a lot of weapons and accessories so that's a definite one for me on bit but that'd be on the retro card version so i'm all in on that one and they're particularly excited uh, uh so actually not particularly excited let's just say for the recondo here i've actually got the tiger force one i've got to be honest it's, it's one of the only ones who actually prefer the tiger force version so um, this may go well with something like dusty in terms of the color scheme but it's a probably a pass for me on the basis that i really like the tiger force one so i should probably skip that one but i'm like i'm really keen to get duke i missed out on duke first time around and he's relatively expensive here in the uk on the second hand market but i will definitely be in for the retro card version and again lots of kit and the extra goggles and the helmet so definitely going to be all in on 
on Duke because I do like that character and I'm looking forward to getting that. Um, and then, then we got into this really sort of classic, 60 years since the creation of the G.I. Joe franchise. And what they revealed here is, and this is as close as you're going to get to Valiverse figures, to be honest. So you've got two characters which are basically designed to reflect military styles over the years. So you've got this like camouflage combat trooper. And oh my goodness, look at the kit. Look at the accessories with it. Look at the longer coat as well. And the extra heads and the balaclava and the number of weapons and the backpack and the, the detail on this looks fantastic that is going to fly off the shelves i mean that's going to be a hell of an army builder and i think it just looks exceptional so that is absolutely something i can't wait for that's going to be a 2024 release though um and then you've got similar to that you've got this frogman and again very much based on torpedo and the eels two heads as well loads of kit loads of accessories and that looks really really cool so again as an army builder you know torpedo leading his underwater troops there i think that looks excellent so they're definite definite purchases again it'll be interesting to see how hasbro go about selling those you know yes you want the quantities to be limited to make sure everyone gets them but really the trick for me is to make loads of them and then we can all get as many as we want because you know there's going to be people that are going to want like a dozen of these and i would like to have two or three certainly so uh let's see what we can um what we can do with those but they're absolutely they look fantastic so i'm really really in on those and i'm sure they're going to be massively popular as well Okay, and then the team moved on to some in-hand reveals. Now, a couple of figures I wasn't particularly... I'm not, not a mega fan of the Dreadnoughts, to be honest. I've got, I've got Zartan and I've got uh, Zorana as well, which is a present from my good friend Jay. Hi, Jay. Um, Ripper here. Ripper looks great. I wasn't particularly keen on the digital render, like I said earlier about some of the other figures. The digital render, like Big Bower, the digital render doesn't always do it justice. But blimey, Ripper looks exceptional. Looks fantastic. The design, the styling, the head sculpt, the glasses come off, the weaponry, absolutely awesome. Some brilliant pictures. Again, our good friend shooting the galaxy here. Some brilliant pictures of him set up in dive armor. Looks fantastic. So that's gone up for pre-order already. And I have gone in for that pre-order straight away because it just looks phenomenal. Same with our next figure. So Hawk General Clayton Abernathy has arrived. He looks fantastic. As they, they said on the uh, as Lenny said on the um, on the reveal that he was looking to get something as close to a sort of World War II looking figure. He's got that sort of very heroic style stoic gray streak through his hair the jacket looks phenomenal the kit looks excellent great character so that's an all-in that's also gone up for pre-order and i've gone straight in on hawk because i think he's gonna look phenomenal um I like the look of the helix figure i haven't gone ahead with a pre-order on, on the helix yet i do like the look of it not a character again i'm particularly in invested in and, and by the time she sort of come along later on in it i was you know sort of not having the same sort of interest, I sort of diluted my interest as I was looking at other other sort of franchises. Figure looks great though, um, but at this stage I've passed on that one. I've definitely gone ahead and pre-ordered Shockwave, who's next, and he looks excellent. I love that colour scheme. Um, the weaponry looks great, the shield looks excellent. The hat sits on perfectly and the figure looks equally good with just the balaclava on, so that is a great figure, so all in on that one. Very pleased with that. But actually, the pièce de résistance in terms of the in-hand figure, I've got to say, I was blown away by this buzzer figure. It wasn't one I was particularly keen on, but it looks fantastic. The facial details, they've nailed into a T. He's got this dark sort of menace to him, which perfectly fits the character. The weaponry looks great. It's packed with accessories. And that was all in on that one. So that was the first one I dived in for on the pre-order tonight. So I've picked up the four there. So I picked up Hawk, I've picked up Ripper, I picked up Buzzer, and I picked up Shockwave. And I'm very, very pleased with that selection that was up on Hasbro Pulse. Finished with the Crimson Trio. We've obviously seen this, seen this before, the in-hand version. So the Baroness looks great. I'm not mega keen on this colour scheme for uh, Tomax and Zaymot. Pack load of accessories. I really love this box. So you've got a magnetized box, and then you've got the you know the video screen inside the case with the gold bullion, etc. 
with chuckles obviously stealing that and the figures inside it great presentation not one i'm interested in it's a shame though because i do like that baroness head sculpt and i do and i, I do think that would look look good but not enough for me to invest in what's going to be you now 90 pounds worth of figures so i'm saying no on that but if you're getting it good luck everybody um they rounded up with a little look at the dragonfly so how it's being set up for some pictures from diorama shots and again really get interested to see that behind the, the scenes stuff i love a bit of uh akbar and uh this looked great to watch this happen and i've got to say so thoroughly impressed with the with the live stream again on this one really loved the reveals i think it was handled very very well by the team um the, the joes are just killing it it was an exceptional um uh, set of reveals and the in-hand figures look fantastic so yes hasbro yes you can take my money for these ones with the joes and there's many many more coming up i'm sure that i'm going to be diving in for but what are you going to be diving in for? Let me know what you thought. What was your views on this on this live stream? What was your views on the reveals and the renders? What are you getting? What are you looking forward to? What you weren't sure about? Let me know. Drop it down in the comments. We'll have a conversation about it. And if you're not liking and subscribing, it would be excellent if you could. I'd really appreciate it. And of course, I already really appreciate it if you are liking and subscribing. So thank you ever so much for that. That, my friends, is it for this video. You can check out my Marvel Legends review from the same PulseCon that's up on the channel now. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.